Welcome to MBS Kitchen, a home of varieties. Today I'll be showing you one out of many methods in which I use in preparing my fried rice. So first thing first, I have my diced carrot. And this is how I prepare and preserve my veggies. That's my red pepper. And next is my spring onions. And lastly, my green pepper. These are my veggies. I also have my other ingredients, sweet corn, green peas and my red kidney all ready for my special fried rice today i also have my green pepper my chopped onions my shrimps spiced already my liver board and fried my mixed blended pepper then here are my veggies again i'm showing you once again okay so let's start cooking this method is quite different from every other method you know i'm very sure so first thing i parboil my rice with hot water and salt after washing it thoroughly i boil it with water hot water okay so i'm just trying to pour in all the rice and um, i had in more hot water yes don't forget i'm trying to parboil my rice here i'm not adding curry i'm not adding anything it's just the water and salt that's all remember i said earlier that this method is quite different from every other method you're familiar with so let's cook together and let's keep enjoying the method so while i have my rice boiling on another burner i would like to make my sauce the sauce for chicken i'm trying to make a pepper chicken and i'm using my oil the one i used in frying the chicken it has this special kind of flavor trust me if you really use this kind of oil for your sauce your stew and your jollof rice you will enjoy it more okay i'm adding my onions and green pepper yeah those two things comes in first then i give it a good stir i want my onions and green pepper lightly fried then i had in my pepper this is a mixture of fresh tomatoes garlic onions ginger and scotch bonnet pepper yes i love my pepper sauce spicy and unique in taste so i had all these ingredients into it to give it that special and unique taste then i give it a good stir i give it a good stir ensure that my pepper my green pepper and my onions get mixed together I had in my seasoning powder for taste not too much just a very little bit of that don't forget always minimize how much seasoning cubes or powder you had then my salt too just a little bit of that i'm not a salt person i don't really like spicy food and this client i'm working for especially doesn't like it either so my curry goes in next and yes just a little bit of my curry and uh, my time comes in next yes the old kitchen is smelling good already trust me don't forget we have our rice boiling in one corner that's my ginger powder i also have my garlic powder i love to have a combination of all the spices in my sauce okay so i give it a good stir again i keep stirring and ensure that everything blends well that's our rice boiling you need to check don't forget you have something cooking on the other burner so after doing this i have my prepared fried properly the next thing i do is to add in my fried chicken you had in your fried chicken a desired amount you keep adding i have turkey yes i forgot to mention i also have my turkey after adding everything i stir together and ensure that the pepper enters every corner when i mean corner every corner of the chicken that pepper must enter it you know i want my clients to eat the chicken and eat the bones as well and to achieve this you need to give it a good stir then cover up to steam up after few minutes open and stir stir properly that way you have your pepper entering every corner of your chicken so our sauce is ready our pepper chicken is ready we we'll go back to our rice yes this is fine and all i just need to do is to bring it out of fire and drain the water after doing that then we start the normal procedure here is my cooking margarine that is the first thing i had into my pot yes i'm trying to add everything 
into my pot yes that's my cooking margarine you stir it up in your pot and ensure that everything melts completely then i'm adding in my vegetable oil a little bit of my vegetable oil in this method i'll be using more of the margarine and just a little bit of the vegetable oil then i keep stirring both together because that way i want it to melt completely and turn into oil so i keep stirring and stirring and stirring until i'm done until i have all my margarine melted in the pot you continue this process because if you don't achieve this fully you can't move to the next stage so it's a step by step thing and you really need to follow the procedure in order to achieve the best result okay that's stubborn tiny margarine okay so now i'm adding my onions onions is very important in every cooking it gives it a very good flavor stir it properly then my shrimps in my shrimps i already mixed ginger garlic powder spices then a little bit of pepper grounded pepper curry and powder seasoning with a little bit of salt so i'm frying it up in that mixture now i covered it and allowed it to fry up for few minutes after opening my pot i need to stir again to ensure that it's properly fried and now i pour in my veggies my washed veggies mixture of carrot pepper spring onions and onions i pour it into my oil and give it a good tear as well then i had other ingredients which is the sweet corn red kidney and green peas i had this and add my liver boiled and fried already then i continue stirring yes you need to keep stirring this method you just have to keep stirring and stirring and stirring then now i'm adding in my curry the quantity is quite much because of the quantity of rice i'm working with so next thing i'm adding my thyme in fried rice you need less of thyme and more of curry yeah so next thing i'm going to be adding is my seasoning powder my salt just a little bit just a little bit of it don't forget i have salt in my rice already and don't forget i didn't boil my rice with curry so i had to add enough quantity so that's my soy sauce light soy sauce i'm adding just a little bit of that too into my mixture then i continue stirring and stirring and stirring the method seems long but tasty at the end trust me you're going to love this method trust me okay so after stirring i need to cover it up for a while and open again to confirm if i have my veggies fried after confirming this i then had in my stock yes you'll be surprised i'm adding it into my fresh veggies don't forget i said this method is different from the regular method you are used to trust me after this i pour in my rice that's my white rice board yes white rice this method is very 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 easy and tasty at the end so i stir up my rice and my veggies this stirring method takes a lot of time but you just have to be patient to ensure that everything incorporates together properly so just keep stirring don't get tired keep stirring until you get your desired result keep stirring keep stirring just keep stirring you're almost there oh our fried rice is almost ready yes we are almost there mm -hmm. don't get tired just keep stirring and we have our desired color this is the normal fried rice look I'm just going to add in a little bit of water don't forget i only parboiled my rice it's not properly cooked so i'm just adding just a very little bit of water to steam it up and make it easy to chew that's just it adding my onions now it's always very important to add your onions lastly when cooking your fried rice and jollof rice it gives it a good aroma 
just allow it to steam for a while cover with your foil paper open it later and tear for the last time this method is stressful trust me but very nice at the end i'm sure you're going to like it don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to on your notification so you can always get notifications when we make a new post thank you once again see you some other time